Hi right, guys. Well, it was a beautiful sunrise, and now uh, it has turned into a cloudy, gloomy day here in the end times uh, in uh, the paradise outside of <clears throat> Inverness, Florida, here on this chilly. Where are we? Is it Wednesday already? January 29th, 2020. And good God, guys, I have got so much on my damn plate. Uh, let's see, just to update you. So the alligator trapper came by, and uh, I guess we did not trap our resonant Sancho Chomping Gator last night. So we will see. I will keep you posted on the great alligator hunt here in the Point Lonesome Swamp. And uh, so I'm just sitting around waiting for the title report here on my little piece of waterfront property dealing with... Uh, you, 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 you can imagine... Uh, uh, the various dramas already building with my new next door neighbor. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I'm sure I'll be able to write a book about that, but mostly I'm sitting around today waiting for my rich sister to send me a check to buy my uh, that cool little trailer I put down the deposit yesterday. So, uh, I will have my trailer at the Doomer Meetup coming up on February 17th. Uh, I was just telling one of our tribes members that I, I will probably be dealing with this real estate bullshit a little bit during the, day, during the days during that week. But uh, we do have the campsite reserved, and I've got my little trailer to bring along, and we got the canoe. So, hope you can join us. So anyway, while I'm sitting around <clears throat> waiting uh, on the postman to bring me my check from my rich sister, decided to look around through all of the, of the various, trying to choose which story to run as the We Are So Fucked Doomer headline of the day. Good God. And uh, I just was over there at... Uh, <clears throat> Collapse Chronicles, and I ran with uh, this essay from a woman named Eileen Christ called Reimagining the Human, the first sentence of which is, Earth is in the throes of a mass extinction event and climate change upheaval risking a planetary shift into conditions that will be extremely challenging, if not catastrophic, for complex life. <clears throat> yep. And if you want to hear where that story goes, uh, you can pick up over there at Collapse Chronicles, where we hit one million views on Collapse Chronicles last night. So then I went over to Truth Dig. Uh, let's see where we see the unimaginable cost of the impending mass extinction by some woman named Courtney. I guess it's Courtney, male or female, I don't know. Courtney Bourgeon. Uh you know, talking about, just talking about how fucked we are, uh, you know, talking about uh, why it is so painful to watch our changing climate and everything else threaten vulnerable wildlife, talking about all these burned koalas and kangaroos. Good God, uh, you know, just talking about how fucked every one of our fellow uh, earthlings are. And then, uh, if you enjoyed that story, okay, here's three more. 
that you can find on Truthdig. Climate change as a weapon of mass destruction. How about the mass extinction <clears throat> no one is talking about? How about mass extinction 252 million years ago? Maybe a warning for today. And, uh, let's see, what is, uh, what is Chris Hedges talking about today? Oh, shit, uh, Chris Hedges, his, uh, rant about how fucked we are. I don't know why Chris is showing up on Wednesday, but, uh, he has his weekly rant about the neoliberal economist, uh, y y you know, gathering all the wealth in their own hands to fuck the, uh, the planet. Then I uh, can't remember who sent me the latest missive from X-Ray Mike. Whoever the mysterious X-Ray Mike, you know, from his website, the collapse of industrial civilization, his new uh, rant titled The Apocalypse Will Not Be Televised. Yes, <coughs> the year is 2020 and climate change related disasters are in full swing while at the same time, the most influential country in the world is under the leadership of someone who calls scientists, quote, foolish fortune tellers. Australia, another country being led to its slaughter by the willfully and criminally ignorant, is literally going up in flames as we speak. Oh, God. Uh, how about a little farther down? We are destroying the life support systems to which all creatures, including humans, are dependent. Yet, it does not appear that any climate disaster, no matter how catastrophic, will alter mankind's tragic path to extinction, wiping out an entire continent's flora and fauna does not register on the stock market. All right. Anyway, guys, I think we're going to, maybe we'll make this the doomsday sermon. This is a long involved one. Thank you, X-Ray Mike, for, uh, oh, and he closes with a quote from Terrence McKenna. A quote from Terrence McKenna showing up in the collapse of uh, industrial civilization. Imagine that. So what quote from Terrence does Mike want us to hear? Quote, the, and this was 20 years ago, or 25 or 30 years ago, that uh, Terence wrote these words. <clears throat> the apocalypse is not something which is coming. The apocalypse has arrived in major portions of the planet, and it is only because we live within a bub bubble of incredible privilege and social insulation that we still have the luxury of anticipating the apocalypse. Yes, and that bubble is rapidly bursting. We do, you know, man, when we lost Terrence McKenna, I think in the year 2000, when we lost, just imagine, uh, what Terence McKenna would be saying about his long predicted collapse of industrial civilization. And again, I'm sorry, I can't remember who sent me uh, which alert 
Tribes member sent me this article from some outfit called the Pacific Standard. <clears throat> Are we headed toward the worst case climate change scenario? I love it when they ask a question in a we are so fucked doomer headline. The answer to the question, are we headed toward the worst case climate change scenario, is yes, we are headed toward the worst case climate change scenario, and it will probably end up being worse than we think, and it will get here sooner than we think. A series of recent studies and reports suggest that, without immediate and drastic action, the worst case climate scenario will become the rule rather than the exception. <clears throat> A record number of Americans now say they accept that global warming is happening. All right, according to a new survey from Yale, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm just going to pick and choose from this article here, guys. Those numbers have risen sharply over the last few years, a shift that could not have come soon enough as the once distant tipping points and worst case climate scenarios researchers have been forecasting for decades become reality. This week alone, for example, researchers warned that Greenland's ice sheet has reached a tipping point. Wow. Looking at more than a decade's worth of ice loss, an international team of scientists found that the rate of Greenland's ice loss in early 2013 was four times higher than in 2003. Then this article breaks all of this down. Uh, I will put the link to this article uh, talking about all the various regions, uh, all the reasons that Greenland is so fucked, and talking about the, you know, fluctuations in the North Atlantic Oscillation. Uh, an irregular fluctuation in atmospheric pressure over the Atlantic Ocean that influences the weather on several continents. And then, of course, uh, from jet streams to actual, you know, uh, ocean circulations that uh, we've been talking about this for years, you know, more and more of these scientists talking about how uh, all of this this melting Greenland, not only are we looking at uh, sea level rise, but we're, you know, talking about could it actually shut down the AMOC, what most of us know <coughs> as uh, the Gulf Stream. Uh, anyway, moving on from from Greenland, which is just one of many examples. But here's the thing about these long-term climate change concerns. So far, they have a tendency to arrive much earlier than expected. Earlier this month, researchers reported in the journal Science that the oceans are warming about 40% faster than the United Nations Climate Panel predicted just a few years ago. <clears throat> Last year, climate scientists said the, Ant the Antarctic ice sheet is now melting at a surprising and accelerating rate. This climatologist they interviewed earlier in this story named Bevis Bevis agreed that recent years have produced a, quote, whole 
series of papers saying that the impacts of global warming have been underestimated and they are happening faster than expected. Close quote. And then they go into this long uh, diatribe by good old Michael Mann. Uh, we hear from good old Michael Mann. So, how are the powers that be uh, responding to all of this new evidence of how fucked we are? Despite this sobering evidence and growing recognition of the problem, even by the public, the current federal administration continues to punt on climate change, rolling out policies that weaken environmental protections, bolster, bolster fossil fuel production, and ultimately slow down international progress towards the goals of the Paris Agreement. Oh yeah, international progress towards the goals of Paris. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Indeed, the Donald Trump administration officials have tried to discredit some of the most rigorous climate science as alarmist or radical. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, moving to the bottom. Indeed, it is becoming ever more clear that without immediate and drastic action, the worst case climate scenario will become the rule rather than the exception, quoting this climatologist Dr. Bevis, quote, we are already in a situation where we are, where there are going to be quite serious consequences to what we have you know, already done to the atmosphere, but the longer we delay, the worse the consequences will be. Yep. And with that, I've got to wrap up today's uh, We Are So Fucked Doomer Headlines of the Day. And, uh, and what do I need to do? Oh, yes, I need to uh, go check the mail to see if my rich sister's check is in the mail so I can get my cool little trailer and then figure out uh, how to hook my gas-sucking truck up to it. Get out there and enjoy it while you still can. This little dog, you say, you need to get back to trapping that gator. Should be your top priority. Bye, guys.